Hello, what is going on, friends of Nintendo? I mean, Ninfrendos. I'm Jeff Bacalar, and check it out. I've got the brand new NES Classic Edition, hot and fresh out the oven. Look, it's got the old school lettering that you know and remember from 20, 30 years ago. It's very nice. Brings back a lot of memories. But you know what memory it doesn't bring back? The memory of how small this was, because it's teeny tiny. And it's got 30 games packed in for your gaming pleasure. I've never seen this up close and personal yet. I just got it today. I'm gonna open it up and we're gonna play some NES classic games. We're gonna see what this is all about. So you can see my genuine reaction, because I, like I said, have not seen the classic yet. It's a lovely box, but we shan't be needing it anymore. All right, some, some manual situations. Oh my God. Are you serious? <laughs> Look at this. Look at that. This is adorable. Oh, look at that. That's a great shot. What do you got li lined up there? <laughs> Very cute. This is adorable. Uh, it's a teeny tiny NES. I will name him Fred. Uh, so check it out. You got uh, a USB power right here. And uh, this thing's HDMI ready. How about that? Never thought I'd see the day, but here we are in the flesh. All right, let's start playing. Let's hook this bad boy up. Uh, we got a, an NES Classic controller. Get a close-up of that here. Just as how I remember. Get a feel for it. Yep. All this is telling me is that my hands have gotten way bigger in 30 years. That's what I'm learning right now. Uh, and it only comes with one, but I do believe you can buy another classic controller if you'd like. And I think they're, I wanna see they're, they're 10 bucks. But what's really cool is if you recall this port, you see this port here? Uh, that's the port that uh, all those Wii accessories worked on. So I believe you can use that Wii Classic controller or that Classic Controller Pro and uh, hook this bad boy into the console like that. All right, so let's get this ready. That's how you get... Hey, I'm not gonna lie, Nintendo. I don't sit three feet in front of my TV. Let's maybe work on this a little bit. Look at that. Is this... I'm not wrong. Am I asking for too much here? I don't think so. This is really short. This is three feet. Is anybody talking about this? This seems too short. Luckily, I, I literally am gonna be sitting three feet in front of the TV, but if I'm, if I'm calling something I don't like right away, it's the absurd length of this wire. In a world of wireless controllers, right, am I crazy? I'm not crazy, right? That's way too short. I don't know, call me crazy, but that's pretty stupid. Um, all right, got an HDMI cable. Never thought I'd see the day, but here we are. I'm sorry, this is, you know, not the most fun, this part. You know, I think we have our own. Let's do that. Okay, now we need power. Uh, and we're gonna get that from USB. Okay. This is going splendidly. So if you do have a question about the classic Nintendo, do yourself a favor and ask them in the comment section while you stare at my butt. All right. Are we ready to go? We're we ready to turn this on and experience the magic? I can't get over how tiny this freaking thing is. Oh, this, the lid doesn't work. That's a bummer. Oh, hello. Look what we got here. 
They didn't have to do it, people, but they put it in alphabetical order. They didn't have to, but they did. And this is, this is why we love this company. Okay, so again, first time I'm ever seeing this, uh, we've got some display options up at the top. Let's roll through that a little bit. You can do that uh, four by three presentation. CRT filter, you mean I could have this look worse? I could have this look worse is what you're telling me right now. Let's try that out. Um, okay. Some more options. I don't know what any of that is. Not gonna deal with it. Okay. Um, gosh. I guess we're just gonna have to start with the only real game that mattered in my my childhood. Right? Let's, let's see what this thing looks like. Oh wow, the CRT thing really is does look bad. Right? <laughs> that's that's not good. This looks terrible. Let's try, yeah, I'm, I just wanted to see what this looked like, but you know what? I'm convinced now. Wait, how the hell do you, how do we get out of it? Oh, I know how, we do that. So if you wanna back out of that anytime, you can hit that little reset button up there. You see what I'm pointing at? And that'll pop you back to the main menu where I'm gonna change the display because let, that was terrible. It, Oh, and what, look at that. So bottom left-hand corner, looks like I can still um, continue my game. It automatically saved, look at that. That is cool. Sign me up. I like it. And now we have a much more clear uh, shot of this game and let's just get right into it. Oh my God. Okay, there's a little bit of a delay. I'm. I'm sorry. So if I die a few times, that's not me. That, yeah, that's on our end, not the uh, NES here. That's the, the way we're, we're displaying this for streaming. Oh man, I already screwed up. Oh boy. Oh, this is embarrassing. Wait, which was the one where you get the... It's this one, right? Okay, good. I need to die so I can, I need to clearly die so I can get the whistle. Cause we're gonna jump all the way to the fourth world, right? Well, so like on blasters, thanks chat room. Like, like on blasters don't work on HD TVs as far as I'm aware. Um, so that's why. Not to mention like duck hunt isn't in this, so. Um, what, wait, how did you, how did it work? Do you remember how the thing worked? You go, so you have to go behind one of the white blocks. But like at the end of the map, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I think it does work on, yeah, it works on any white block, if, if I recall correctly. Yep, there he is. You stay. And I'm just like behind the world now. And, and does that wear off? Or? Yeah, it wears off, I believe. Yeah, see? So what we'll need to do yeah, I'm gonna fly to the end. I just wanna get rid of these little a-holes. That's a great question. Why is this better than emulation? Um, it's, it, oh, sh man, this is not working out. That question screwed me up. Um, it's better than emulation because um, it's the original, um, you know, the, the original game on the original chip. Emulation is sort, I mean, look, you're probably not gonna notice a huge thing, not to mention emulation is occasionally illegal, but uh, it's the, you're getting that one-to-one -one conversion, um, not the way you would get it uh, in um, in a ROM. Is like the the way I'm I'm satisfied with explaining it. <laughs> okay, that's good to know. Actually, you know what? I think I have one. Yeah, uh, chat room's talking about. Um, cable extenders. See, I don't think it was this map. I think it was World 3, right? Let's see. <laughs> I 
Excite bike? Okay, good, because this is ending terribly. This is going terribly. The lag sucks. I'm not gonna lie, it's not the best, but again, you're not gonna experience that when, when you play. It's just our uh, MacGyvered situation here. Uh, Excite bike, let's load it up. So that, yeah, that's not, that's Super Contra. That's not the original. Um, so people are wondering the price. Again, uh, this, I feel like this is really gonna do pretty well this holiday just because of 60 bucks, 30 classic NES games. It's kind of a no, no brainer. Uh, comes out November 11th. I feel like this is the one, this is like that stocking stuffer, right? This, uh, you can't add any games to it. So we got a question here on the floor. Can't add any games to it, but what you can do is wait for them to do this again, because they will. Because this is probably gonna sell real well. So uh, figure in 2017, you're gonna get one of these with another 30 games on it. And what's to stop them from doing? A, 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 you know, a, a Super NES or a Nintendo 64. What's to stop them? Nothing. Okay, Excite Bike, here we go. First, let's enjoy this. Excite Bike! How do you save the games? Uh, the games look like they save themselves. I really didn't force anything to happen on that Mario 3 um, playthrough, so that kind of just did its own thing. Don't want to overheat! Oh my god, these bikes, I guess these bikes kind of blow, right? That they overheat so much? Oh yeah. Oh, that was a funny joke. These bikes were not made by Samsung. <laughs> I would always try and like get that smooth landing. There it is. Uh, it looked like there was only, when, when I'm done with this playthrough right here, we'll check it out, but I don't think s you can do more than uh, look like five save slots, but let's see. Or, per, or maybe five total, let's see. Oh, oh no, run back. I believe an extra controller, uh, people are asking, is $10? I want to say the maximum is probably um, 15 Oh, I'm killing it now. There it is. Look at that. Destroyed it. Still got it. All these years later, still got it. Let's back out. Uh, okay, there's so no see. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's a way to back out. Good thing you're only three feet away. You can reach that cord no matter what you're doing. Um, okay, so now it looks like there might be five save slots for each. What did that say? Suspense points or what? Are created when you reset a game. Let's see if the, the Mario 3 is there. It is. So I guess it saves the state when you reset, it kind of just takes a picture of your gameplay session and pops it in there. So it looks like you're gonna get, gonna get four uh, suspension slots for each game you play. Works for me. Uh, you can sort the games by recently played, that's cool. Times played, release date, publisher, excellent. I love it. One last game. What are we gonna do? Let's do Mega Man. Wow, 1988, huh? I, I have to skip that, I'm sorry. I got yelled at for skipping that, but let's be honest, it takes some time. Uh, I guess we gotta do Woodman, right? He's got the best sound. He's got the best music. <laughs> Woodman. All right, here it is. Oh, let's see if I, can, I remember it all. Man, this game's gonna about to get way harder because of our our own fault, we introduced some, some gnarly lag here. Oh my god. This game is relentless.
these little bat bomb things. I always found the best way was just like brute force your way through. Oof. You know, it's so funny how it's just, they really did do a great job of importing these games over. It just, yeah, it just feels right. Oh my God. It is not an easy game. Yeah, they're, I mean, I, you gotta imagine Super Nintendo's gonna get the same experience, right? Like, I, look, I guess it depends on how well this sells, but I mean, come on. You know, I, I just can't see this this underperforming. In fact, I, I, I kind of anticipate there not being a lot of these around the holidays. Um, questions about resolution. We're, right now, this is outputting 720p. Um, I don't believe we have an option to change that. I would think it'd be in the display options. It is not. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that 720p is what it's locked in at. Was there, there was another question? Oh, there's just two different display settings. Yeah. What, did you play on all of them? I mean, they're pretty much. Yeah, the so the CRT one is what we saw, gave it that horizontal sort of filter thing that I thought looked pretty crappy. And then Pixel Perfect, I, I wonder, I feel like that might just be a scaling thing. Yeah, that's just gonna give you like one-to-one -one pixel, where the four by three stretches it out from what you're used to. Oh, I could totally rock that Justin Bailey code, but we're not gonna do it. Yeah, this looks like, um, this just looks like a one-to-one a, a -one pixel sort of thing. Oh boy. It's very cool, all right. Uh, let's, let's run through all the titles before we get out of here. Send you guys on your way. Uh, Okay, starting alphabetically, Balloon Fight, Bubble Bobble, Castlevania, Castlevania 2, Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Jr., Double Dragon 2, my personal favorite of the Double Dragons, Dr. Mario. That's right, I say Mario. Excite Bike, Final Fantasy, Galaga, Ghosts and Goblins, Gradius, Ice Climber, Kid Icarus, Kirby's Adventure, the original Mario Brothers, that's like the arcade -y, um, you know, platformy thing. Mega Man 2, Metroid, Ninja Gaiden, Pac-Man, Punch-Out. Someone's name seems to be missing from this. I don't, I can't quite put my finger on it. Star Tropics, Super Contra, Super C, uh, Super Mario Brothers, Mario 2, 3, Tech Mobile, and Legend of Zelda 1 and 2. That's where you have it. Um, we're gonna put this through more of its paces. We're gonna have a full review up on CNET, so make sure you tune into that. First impressions, I, I really think uh, they actually have a winner on their hands. Personally, I'm probably gonna opt for one of the other um, uh, controllers for this, just because controllers have come a long way in 30 years. Maybe we don't have to use this like antiquated thing. It's nice for the memory, for the novelty, but those uh, Wii Pro controllers are pretty great. So I kind of am gonna recommend you use one of those for this. Um, if you don't already have one, you could probably get one uh, not too expensive. Uh, yeah, pretty great stuff. $60, November 11th. That's it. Thank you so much for tuning in. Really appreciate you sticking around. And uh, we'll see you guys next time.